So you guys, I am on my way to my orthodontic appointment today. Um, I've had about like, this is my seventh orthodontist a student, okay? I've had my braces in for nine years. Nine years, like nine annoying, oh my God. It's been a long journey. And um, I think I have like two or three more appointments. If I don't have two or three more appointments, I will because I'll just have to take them off because this is like the worst decision. It's like, it's really frustrating to keep having to start to like start over, not start all over, but like you make a progress and then you take two steps back. It's like the students, it's been a long journey. Today I'm gonna meet the seventh provider and um, I just really hope he is serious about what he's doing because the sixth provider, like I've given him so many chances and when I finally spoke up, he started being very, very aggressive um, um, during the treatment. Like he's shoving the cotton in my mouth. Like he was angry because I, I went to the professor and I told the professor what has been going on and I mean I gave him like I've been giving him chances for like five months like I've been asking him every time he's done like is this gonna relapse he's like no I come back it it has relapsed because he he forgot to do something or um the wire right kept traveling because he, he, he forgot to put a stopper it was like that for like three months straight right and then um the appointment I had like a month ago, he forgot to put the wire back in until like when I was about to leave. He's like, let me see. And then I had to go back into the dental chair for him to put it. Like I've just felt like I, I got angry at that point because I felt like he was not taking this seriously. So I went and I talked to the professor about it. Um, well, Actually, a month went by and I went back and I talked to the professor about what, what had happened the prior month. Like I was just on my way out. I, I left and then I realized like I was just so, like I'm the type of person like I'll, I'm, I get angry and then I just hold it in and then I process everything and then I go back and like spoke, I spoke my mind because I, I don't want to be irrational and just like, you know, just be angry. I don't want to throw any neg negativity out there. So I like come down and I realized what happened and I like fully process it. I'm like, this this is making me angry. Like how can you just forget? How can you, how can you be this neglectful? And I talked to the professor about it, and then, um, so the next appointment, I went and spoke to the professor about it, and then I sat in the chair, and then he was mad about it, and he was just being being very aggressive, like pulling my cheek, just pushing cuttings in, in my mouth, as if I as if, as if I was not a human being. So I got so ang I, I'm not a type of on like the way he was doing it, it's just like he was very neglectful, it was just like pushing things. <sighs> I was so mad, and then I I got done with that appointment. I thought about it. For a good day, I sat down and I called the, the um, director of the program and I told him what happened. And then they, they gave me a seventh person. The sixth, the fifth person was also kind of like, kind of like that. Like she was also neglectful, which is why I asked for somebody else. And they gave me the sixth person, the sixth provider. Um, he did what he did to me, which is why now I have the seventh. So I'm going to go meet the seventh provider today. And then, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happened and I, I will be uploading a video explaining why I have been in braces for nine years. Um, you guys can expect that very soon. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I'm here. Um, I'm here. I'm about to go in and meet the seventh, seventh, seventh provider for my braces i just ate something i was eating grapes and stuff so excuse me if i have grapes um particles in my teeth but hopefully this goes well um i'm gonna make sure the professor looks at my teeth after you know they've adjust my um my braces so that it doesn't prolong any longer so yeah i'm gonna go in <sighs> So, it was a good appointment. I j I'm just coming from my um, appointment with my seventh provider. Maybe seventh time is a charm. Okay, you guys, um, he seems really nice. I mean, they all do. But he, I think I think he's gonna get the job done. I think he, I, because usually they don't give you a, I just found this out. It was shocking to me too. I was like, this is why I've been in this predicament for nine years. 
So every time they give you a new student, they give you a freshman. They give you a freshman. So that's why, like, the freshmen don't know anything. Just like when you were a freshman hygienist, you didn't know crap. So they've been switching. Every time somebody graduates, a senior graduates on you, they pass you down to a freshman. So that's why I have been in braces, braces for nine freaking years. So they told me, the professor came to me and he was like, I'm sorry, I'm just hyped. I'm just like, kind of annoyed by the... By this, by this discovery, I'm kind of like annoyed by it because had I known this, <sighs> I can't believe this. Like, I feel duped, I feel used, I feel annoyed. Um, I'm so mad, I can't even think, <laughs> can't even think straight. So, yeah, they have been passing me down to freshmen, so that's why it took so long because freshmen don't know what they're doing, and then they learn what they need to do, and then they they graduate and then they give you somebody they give you another they give you to another freshman that don't know what the fuck they're doing so the professor came to me and told me that um usually they don't do this but because i've been in this bitch sorry because i've been in this um th these braces for nine years um they give me a senior because they can empathize with me now they can finally empathize because i've served my time like this i don't recommend I will never put my children to this. I'm gonna go to a freaking professional and do this. Because I only saved like a thousand dollars, but and we should really think about it, I wasted a lot of money because I could have been working, but I'm wasting my time going over there just to, cause I don't wanna spend an extra, you know, six, seven K just to get a professional to do it when I've already paid five K, I think. Oh my God, I, oh, my head hurts, you know, I'm hungry. I need to ask them for, I'm gonna like the next visit. I'm gonna ask them for how much I paid, like like all my files. I'm just gonna because so I need to like give you guys this this, this information because had I known this, I would have never gone through it. <sighs> you guys, I'm just I don't know. I'm kind of mad, but I'm happy that I'm gonna have my braces off in a month. It's promising. It's looking really good. So I'm kind of I'm very happy that I, I just wanted this journey to be over. It's almost there. I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm happy about it. I just, yeah. So do not. I don't want to say don't because I had people sit for me, but like, that's that's a bit too much. Like having somebody go be a freaking uh, a lab rat. I don't know what the hell. What do you call it again? A guinea pig for like nine freaking years. That's not fair. I'm saying like, no. That's to in my case wasn't even that bad. I'm gonna show you guys. What I started with, I just had diastema, which is like spaces between teeth everywhere. That's it. I didn't, I didn't have teeth on top of teeth, like pulling this one over. I didn't have all that complicated. It shouldn't have taken that long. Had I had that, they would have made me, you know, they would have freaking had me in there for 20 years. Like, you know? But yeah, I'm done. I'm glad this is almost over. I'm about to go to Target, buy some stuff, and then I'll talk to you guys when I get home.